In our news headlines this morning, in the past month, there have been two crashes involving trucks hauling manure from local farms. Kevin Erb is here from UW-Madison Division of Extension with some important safety reminders. These come every season, but certainly a very topical thing right now. Definitely so, and of course, we're getting into that fall season where silage is being harvested, manure is being hauled. Kind of weird to be saying fall this time of year, but yeah. the cool mornings we've had here definitely remind us. It's a time really for not only farmers, but those that live in rural areas that use the roads to be thinking safety and take a few extra precautions. And I know we actually had a little bit of video or photographs from the situation in the Sheboygan County area. This may be a situation where people get a bit complacent. They're running the same route. We know our operators right. are on mm -hmm. these roads often and something changes and something changes. Right, and so anytime this train time is the people that do that kind of safety really like to talk about, but as we look particularly here in Northeast Wisconsin, we're seeing more fertilizer being brought in by rail right now to prepare for the fall season. We're seeing the last of last year's crop mm. being shipped out, and so train frequency is actually increasing. So in those areas where maybe you used to see a train once a week, or maybe it was of an evening or at night, we're seeing them more frequently different times of the day. And so just have that awareness. And it's just a matter of remembering, you know, slow down a little bit, take a look, but not only at railroad crossings, but intersections as well. That corn mm -hmm. is eight, 10, 12 feet tall in some cases right now. Mm -hmm. And as we're driving down those corners where you might've had visibility to see traffic from the right or the left, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, mm -hmm. now you don't, you really need to be paying attention and coming to a stop and making sure it's safe to proceed, even if there's not a stop sign there. Those other reminders for our drivers, whether they are operating a semi or a tractor or other piece of equipment, what do you want to remind as we head into fall? So really take time to do the safety things. So beginning of the shift, a couple of times during the shift, get out of that truck, get out of that tractor, walk around, make sure that there's not mud or dust on the reflectors, dust those off, make sure the turn signals, the strobes, the flashers are working. The other thing is getting out of that cab, walking around, mm -hmm. helps keep you awake because mm -hmm. we know that driver fatigue can be a real issue. If people are tired, they're not making a sound decision. Sometimes they're getting into that complacency that you talked about a few minutes ago. And really getting out of the cab, walking around, is one of the best things you can do to remain alert and aware. What about our other drivers on the road? A reminder that this is overall a relatively short season. A little patience goes a long way, right? It does. I mean, I grew up on a farm. I got impatient behind the neighbors <laughs> when I was driving around. And really just leave a couple minutes early, plan the fact that, hey, you may have to wait a few extra moments behind that piece of equipment until it's safe to pass. When you are passing, let's make sure that we're not just tailgating the person in front of us that decides to pass that slow moving vehicle, but that you actually have enough room to get back into the lane safely with oncoming traffic. And like I mentioned earlier, that corn is fairly tall. The weeds in some cases are fairly tall. Slow down and make sure that it's safe before you go through those intersections that are out in the middle of nowhere. We've hit a bit of a dry stretch right now, but wet season earlier has led to some pretty full manure pits around our it area. It definitely has. If we continue to see that rain, what are the reminders there? So really this time of year, interestingly, August used to be one of our highest times of the year for manure pit overtoppings mm -hmm. because people didn't think about it. But as awareness has increased, people are going out there, farmers, monitoring that manure pit, seeing how full it is at least once a week. So if we haven't gotten that emptied, if we're concerned about it, going out there at least once a week to check, going out the day of and maybe the day after we get that rainstorm is also important as well. For field applications, if we're applying real watery manure, low solids, check those drain tile outfalls both during, after, during and after application. Some great reminders as we head into fall. And if you have questions, your local extension agents are here to help. We're going to put Kevin's information on our website in the Midwest Farm section of wearegreenbay.com. We appreciate your knowledge and we hope everyone has a very safe season. Safety is really important. Yes. Thank you.